Hi everyone, this is gonna be your next painting. It's gonna be a bubble snow globe. It's up to you guys how you guys decide to uh, call it. Uh, first I went ahead and added a little bit of black. This is not an advanced way of creating a castle by no means. I will show you that later. Those are a little more advanced techniques. But for now, we'll create it the same way we would create kind of like a little space castles, you know. We just kind of scratch out some detail, add some stairs to it. So it's not completely black. You don't want to have, well, you could. You could have a silhouette of a castle, but I think it looks better when you add detail to it. So I just went ahead, added a little bit of spray paint here on my sheet, added some detail to it. Now I went ahead and covered it up with a castle stencil. Now I'm going to cover the black and all the construction lines that I have surrounding my castle there with some white. Now I'm doing this because I want to add some color to it. So first I'm going to color completely white, just like so. All right. And then make sure you get all the edges and then I'm gonna come in with the blue and pretty much make sure the same thing you know that you keep your castle pretty well covered this is gonna be some light in the background a little bit of blue I'm gonna add some black to it and the black I'm adding because this will add to the the effect that I'm looking for before I add my my bubble or create my bubble using the, the spray castle bubble maker there we go. Now, even though it's a bubble, I'm going to treat it like a snow globe. So I'm going to add a little bit of snow. All right, this could also be stars. Now in this tutorial, I also hope to show you how to create lightning in the background. I've had a lot of wonderful emails, people asking me how to create lightning. Okay, now with the Spray Castle Bubble Maker, I'm just adding some random colors around here, just like so. And this, when you remove it, will give you the effect of a bubble. Okay, a little bit of yellow, add some highlights to it. Perfect. Okay, now remove it, and that's what you should have. Now we're going to go ahead and cover that with the bowl. You guys like that, huh? Magic. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to add a little bit of red, uh, a little bit of blue. This will be kind of like a space nebula. Or, you know what? This could also be... Uh, you know how when it gets real um, cloudy outside and there's a lot of lightning, you can see some colors in the sky. Well, this could be something like that. Now to create the lightning, I'm going to go ahead and just scratch off the effect of lightning. And this is what I consider background lightning because it's not really quite interacting with your uh, with your painting. It's just in the background. We are going to use some actual lightning that will interact with our painting. Okay, so we'll just add some like this. Now you want to do this throughout your your painting. Now see how I made that lightning bolt touch the bubble? Well I'm gonna add some white there. That'll give us a really nice effect as though the lightning is hitting the actual bubble. Okay with a little bit of blue and black I'm just creating a rough terrain, real rocky. Okay just like so. This is a perfect tutorial to, to get you started on creating your lightning. Uh, maybe practice your bubbles, your space castles. Okay. Uh, I try and uh, create a combination of advanced, intermediate, and beginner tutorials so that my most advanced uh, students out there will also get a chance to practice some, some advanced tutorials. But I also want some of my beginner students to you know, not feel left behind. So this is a nice intermediate tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and create the water. Now, the way I'm creating the water is I added some blue, but I also added some colors that are in the sky. So I'm mimic mimicking some of the colors back there, the reds and the blues. Now with the white, I'm going to create the effect of water. 
See, I went ahead and I, I covered some of the, the rocks with some of the colors as well. This will either make it make it seem like either a reflection or that the rocks is going underneath the water. Now with the straight edge, so that the water is not so calm, I'm adding some highlights. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. See that? You create some ripples. This is just another technique I hadn't showed you guys before. So practice it and make your water a little more realistic. Now we're going to go ahead and add some lightning that will interact with our painting. In this case, this lightning bolt is coming down and touching the water. So this will give it a nice effect. See that? I believe I'll make another one. Starting from here, coming down and hitting down to this rock. Now you can add a quick burst, just like I did on the on the bottom one, or you can make it more explosive. See that? In which case I believe it looks better, so I'll make this bottom one a little heavier as well. Okay, added some random trees here on the bottom. And that's what your tutorial comes out to look like. Hopefully you guys will practice these techniques. Have fun with it, guys. And that's how you create some lightning in the background. Don't forget to sign your painting. It's Picasso. And until next time, folks, keep those cans shaking.